Hey there folks, just wanted to do a quick internet video here as I'm throwing stuff all over the ground. <clears throat> we just received our new Blue Eddy AC200, came in yesterday, we charged it up at the house. Today we're going to do a little test with it and see if it'll run the air conditioning and everything in our R-Pod. So what we did, since it doesn't have a 30 amp output on it, I went and picked up one of these, which is a 30 amp, 125 female to 15 amp male adapter, weekender. This is it. I'm gonna plug it into here. <clears throat> We're gonna plug it into our blue heading. We're going to turn it on. The screen might be a little difficult to see here. Let's see, we're at 94% power. I'll turn the AC on. AC is running. Looks like we're drawing about 119 watts. So we'll go inside the RV. You can see at this point, the fridge is running. <clears throat> it says running off of shore power. The microwave is running. That's really it. We don't have anything else turned on inside here at the moment. But check this out. We're going to fire up the AC. Hear that? That's the sound of cold air. <clears throat> Let's take a look at what we're drawing. Fifteen hundred watts. Give or take. Now obviously that'll draw it down quick, but as you can clearly see, it's running. This is a 13.5 BTU air conditioning unit on this R5. That is basic cold air coming out of there already. In a few minutes, we're going to hook up our Bouge RV solar panels to the Blue Eddy and see what we get for pass through. We'll be back in a minute. All right. We have. Our four 170 watt Bouge RV solar panels all connected in series. Connected back through an aviation plug into the side of the Blue Eddy AC200. The air conditioning is running, refrigerator is running, microwave is running, battery charger is running on the R Pod. You can look at the panel. See, we're in about 596 watts coming in from the solar panels, and well, we're currently using about 455 watts. Well, really, it's just the fan running now on the AC, and there's the normal draw 204 watts, and that's with the refrigerator running, microwave, and the battery charger. So we're still passing through. Oop, see if I can get that to focus. That's why we had to move stuff because the light here is crazy. 597 watts, we're 86% power. What we're gonna do 
we're gonna leave this run for a few hours just like we would be sitting there on the side of the road or in the campground using it with the solar panels out and the air conditioning running ambient temperature out here today is going to be around 90 ish now we are in a covered environment here so it is shaded but the ambient temperature is still going to be around 90 ish and I'm keeping the interior of the RV set for 75 with the air conditioning and we'll come back out here in an hour or so and see how much power we've used and see where we're at and as you can see we're still at about man the reflections are awful 86 percent we'll check in, in a few minutes okay through the magic of editing it's been about an hour since we were last out here we were about 86 percent when we left let's see where we're at now wow 84 percent Still pulling down, 594, 600 watts, coming in, 203 going out, let's go see what the temp is inside, and it's set for 75, let me see how it feels. nice and cool in here I should have had a thermometer in here but it's 75 still set for 75 it feels great so in an hour while bringing down 600 or so watts from the AC from the excuse me from the solar power from those bouge RV panels out there Running the AC, 90 degree ambient day outside. Granted, we are again under shade cover here. <clears throat> we use 2% of the Blue Eddy in an hour. That's darn good. That is darn good. Pretty happy about that. Yeah. I'm gonna give it another hour and see how that goes. Talk to you in an hour. Okay, it's another hour later, so we're a full two hours into this experiment at this point in time. Again, there's our four panels, 170 watts each, plugged into our Blue Eddy, running our R-Pod with the air conditioning set for 75, 90 degrees outside. And let's see what we're at. Okay. Down to 80%. So when we last left, we were at 85%. Well, we're up to 81 now. When we first started this, we were at 86%. We still have 590-ish watts coming in from the solar panels. 203 going out right now because the AC is not currently running. <clears throat> That's really good. I decided to hang out out here a couple seconds until the air conditioning kicked back on. So you can see that it actually ended up getting up to 82% power while it was just charging with the air conditioning off. The air conditioning is running again using a full 1800 or what is it, 18, 1800 watts it looks like. Still getting the 590 coming in from solar. We're back down to 81%. So you can see it is still running the AC. And I'll be back. Check it again. We're on a third hour now. Now three hours into it. Started at 86%. What's the magic? 74%. AC is shutting down. 535 or so watts coming in from solar and that's it the AC is off now that 
74. I'm guessing we'll probably end up going back up to 76% before the AC comes back on again. So that'll be in three hours, we've only used 10% of the battery. That's pretty damn good numbers. I am very impressed. Very impressed so far with this Blue Eddy AC200. Okay, it's been about six minutes since the AC shut off. It's just kicking back on now. We got the 75%, I think it was just about to click over to 76%. But we're not generating quite as much power as we were earlier with the solar panels. So, still, pretty amazing numbers. I mean, if this thing can run using about 4% of the battery net per hour, as long as you got about five to 600 watts of solar coming in, it makes this a very, very feasible off-grid boondocking battery solution when combined with that five or 600 watts of solar power. Pretty cool.